In the sharing system preference, you can set up your Mac to share files, printers, its internet connection, and more. At the top, you can see what your computer's name will be seen as on the network. Mine is called iMac27. This name can be changed to any you prefer. Right now I have screen sharing, file sharing, and printer sharing turned on. This means that any computer on my local network, Mac or PC, will be able to access files on my machine, use the printer connected to it, and even view my screen from their computer. DVD or CD sharing lets other computers use the disks in my drive as if it was in their drive. This was added to Mac OS X when the MacBook Air came out. Since the Air has no disk drive, Apple had to come up with a solution to install software from CDs and DVDs. This is it. When web sharing is on, your Mac becomes a local web server. If you have a website saved in your Sites folder, other computers on the network will be able to view it in their web browser. The remote login, management, Apple events, and XGrid sharing options are more for an advanced user or a system administrator to control a group of Macs. We won't be covering that in this course. Internet sharing can be very useful though. This option lets you turn your Mac into a network router and serve its internet connection to other computers. If I choose to share my connection from my FireWire ports, I'll just check FireWire, then turn on Internet Sharing. Once I click Start, I can connect another computer to mine via FireWire, and it will receive an internet connection to its FireWire ports. If you have a Mac with an AirPort or Wi-Fi card, but it's connected to the web by Ethernet, you can set up internet sharing via airport, which will create a wireless hotspot in your home or office running from your Mac. Bluetooth sharing basically allows the same access as file sharing, but only via Bluetooth. If you have two Macs that aren't on a wired or wireless network, but both have Bluetooth, you can set them up to share files here. Now that we have all the sharing settings in place, let's go into a finder window and actually put it into use. Here in the sidebar I have my MacBook available. It's listed here because file sharing is turned on in its system preferences. Currently I am connected as a guest. I only have access to the public folders of each user on the MacBook. I can copy files from this folder like so but I cannot add them to the public folder. I can add a file to the Dropbox folder. As I do, I get a warning that says I can copy the file here, but I won't be able to see it. The Dropbox folder is only viewable by someone logged into that user account. Remember, right now I'm only a guest. I'll click OK and the file is copied to that folder. To get full access to the folders on another Mac, you will need to log in as a user on that computer. I will click Connect As, the mFellows user on this Mac. When I do, I have access to the entire mFellows user folder. I can add or remove files from any folder here. I can also request to share or view the screen of this Mac. When I click that, I'm asked if I want to share the display of the current user or view a virtual display. This will let me log in as another user on this Mac. I will just ask to share the display of the current user. Now I can view and use this Mac as if I were sitting in front of it.